everyone and today I'm going to show you how to make dynamic blood in Game Maker. Uh, so basically if you've ever played Hotline Miami um, their blood is a quick spew it goes everywhere and it's very impactful and it feels good whenever you kill someone. So I'm gonna show you how to get that same feeling or very close to it in Game Maker. So uh, this is a very small project here to make the blood and I have a sprite called SPR blood and it's literally just a circle with uh, s smoothed, smoothed, blah, 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 smooth edges and uh, I centered it then in the test blood uh, object this is to create the blood so basically you could put this code into a script and call that script when you want the blood to be created so basically um, whenever I press the left mouse button anywhere on the uh, the game screen uh, it's going to repeat this function 15 times so it's going to create blood 15 times and if you're creating a script change this to argument 0 so that you can in parentheses when you call the script so like this say you call it at SPR blood in here in these parentheses you could call it 15 you can say 20 this is however much blood you want to be created and I chose 15 so then uh, these are B is uh, blood so I assigned the variable B to be blood and I'm creating it at mouse X and mouse Y change this to X and Y uh, for your project if you're adding it in uh, the then blood speed is gonna be a random it's gonna be between 2 and 10 the blood direction is gonna be between 0 and 359 degrees you can change this to 360 I just didn't want to do that um oh it doesn't really make much of a difference and uh the bull or the blood friction is going to be between 0 0.3 and 0 0.8 and you can adjust all these values when I show you uh, what it's like I could show you how to adjust them according to what you w would like and in the blood object set the depth to be below everything uh, or else it will be it'll be showing up above some of your objects unless you want that to happen just adjust your depth to what you want so the variables we have for this um, the x scale of the object which is linked to the y scale and in this line of code here uh, it's going to be between 0 0.1 and 0 0.8 um, you can adjust this as well I did 0 0.2 and 1.2 at one point those that's for like a bigger blood splat uh, just adjust that however you want then I'm setting the alpha to 1. Then in the step event, I'm slowly fading the alpha of the blood so that eventually it will destroy itself. And you can adjust this as well depending on how long you want the blood to stay there for. Then in the draw event, uh, we, have to, we have to draw a sprite extension and we are drawing the blood sprite obviously which is our circle that we have. The sub image is 0, drawing it x and y and the X scale and Y scale set it to the image X scale and image Y scale and the rotation is zero because it's a circle it doesn't matter where it's rotating um, and the color is white which is clear and we're setting our alpha to our a variable which we assign the image alpha to so now if I show you this uh, it may lag for you guys um, I'm testing out new recording software Okay, so here we are. If we press, creates little blood splats everywhere. Um, and of course, it, there could be tons of blood in certain areas, depending on how much you create. Just kind of, that's the blood. So if you want to make uh, the size of the circles bigger, simply adjust this, these values here in the blood object. If you want to adjust any speed, direction, or friction, go into your test object or wherever in your script or whatever and adjust these values accordingly. Uh, the direction shouldn't really matter because it needs to go in any direction possible unless you're making it only go in one direction. So uh, that's basically how to create dynamic blood in Game Maker. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any problems, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. 
if you have something that would make this even cooler or would make this work a lot better or you know be even more helpful uh, go ahead and tell me that too I'll be open to any suggestions and I can even update this tutorial if need be so thank you guys for watching be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time